A question I hear often from photographers is, when working in Lightroom Classic, should I have one catalog or is it okay to have multiple catalogs? Well, in reality, the best workflow is to have a single catalog because, well, a variety of reasons. And the number one reason is that when you're using digital asset management in Adobe Lightroom Classic, and your search for an image or images, Lightroom can only search across one catalog, the open catalog. So if you have things in multiple catalogs, it makes the digital asset management aspect a little bit difficult. And again, Lightroom does a great job with a single catalog if you keep it optimized. So that then leads to the question, how do I merge my catalogs together? And fortunately, Adobe has made this very easy over the past few years. So I'm in Adobe Lightroom Classic, and I created a second catalog just to use as a demonstration. The first step is to have open your master catalog, the one you want to merge the other items into. And from there, you're just gonna go up to File, Import from another catalog, and you'll get a finder looking win whoops, a finder looking window where you need to go search for the other catalog. And sometimes you have to go look for it. I place my catalogs pretty much in one location. So I have created one called the demo catalog and you wanna click on the LR cat, the Lightroom catalog um, file that's in with your catalog. So this is the one that I'm gonna import into my master catalog. And from there, I'm gonna hit choose and a window's gonna come up. It did a little analyzing. It went really fast for me because I built a very small catalog. It could take longer or will take longer if you have quite a few images, but it works just the same. And I can choose the catalog content. This one only has 56 images, but let's say I'm just gonna bring in an old folder because maybe I have an old catalog that I need to move into my new one. Now, some of these images in this scenario are already in both catalogs, but not all of them. So of the 54, there are 20 new photos. Sometimes you might have all of them are new photos, and sometimes it's none or a few. And Lightroom gives you some options what to do here. So I do have 20 new photos, and it says, hey, what to do with these 20 new photos? Add new photos to catalog without moving. So that would stay at the same location or I can copy the new images uh, to a new location of my choosing. And if I select that, you'll notice I can pick where I wanna copy them to, or I don't have to import them. Here, I'm just gonna go add new photos to catalog without moving, because I like where they're located. And with the existing photos, I can replace them, and I say do nothing with that, or I can have it add it with the metadata and develop settings only, and it'll preserve the old settings as a virtual copy, which is really nice because I then still have a virtual copy of the old one, and then I also have the new adjustments. So this is a scenario where, hey, I might have processed the image in one catalog, and then I process the same image in another catalog, and I don't know which one I prefer. Well, one of them will stay as a virtual copy. So it's still one image, but I have a virtual copy, which is pretty cool. And then there are some existing photos that are found missing. Well, that's because one of my hard drives is actually not turned on for this demonstration. And then it asks you, you know, what do you want to do these? Use metadata and develop settings, preserve the old settings, or copy the missing files to a different location. And again, you have that option. And you can also choose which images you want to bring in. So I'm going to hit check all. So you can determine, maybe I don't want all 54, maybe I want 25 of them. And you could change the size of the thumbnails. You can see I've got some big kitties here from an animal sanctuary. And these are all the way back from 2008 in there. And if you don't want the preview, you can just click that. And at this point, all you actually have to do is click the import button. So you can see how quickly that works. Now, Again, depending on the amount of images you have, it will take a little bit of time, but nothing too long. And this is a way that you can merge catalogs together. Now, if it was rule of thumb, before I, well, delete or throw out the old catalog, I always go into the new catalog and just ensure that, well, everything's there, everything's what I like. And once that's done, I can go ahead and delete all the old folders for the um, old catalog, in this case, the one from 2008. So hopefully you found this helpful. It's actually really simple to do.